Hello and welcome to Promise Video Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how the ProGeox Tablet Sync command works, which you'll find in the interface module. This new tool allows you to synchronize drawings between ProMine and the ProGeox app. To be able to use the command, you need to connect your tablet to your computer and then make sure that the two devices are communicating. Here you can see my tablet and you need to make sure that you enable the file transfer option. Once you've done that, you can go back to your ProMine in AutoCAD and run the command. Once you connected your tablet to your computer, the next thing to do is to activate the command and select your tablet. Click OK. And now we can build a list of files that we wish to send to the device or that we wish to keep synchronized with it. To synchronize files, we need to click on Browse, select the files we wish to synchronize with a tablet, and click Add. Uh, it's important to note that uh, this command will only work with DSX files and not DWG ones. However, the program will convert your DWG files into DXFs. As you can see, I'm selecting a DWG one. I'll add it. And as you can see, it's already named it uh, with the DXF file extension. After the files have been selected, the synchronization can be started via the sync button. If the option to keep in sync is selected, as I've done here, the selected files will be checked every time the command runs and the new version will be copied to the source or to the device, depending on where the change has taken place. So we'll click on sync. And you can see that uh, when it turns green, it means that the files have been copied and they're in sync. When the colors turn red, or pink in this case, it means that uh, there's a conflict and this file already existed in the tablet. So now it's up to me to select which file I want to keep. By double clicking on the one that I wish to keep, the one that I don't click is the one that will be updated. So I'll double click on my source and then I'll click on sync again. And now both files have been synced. When syncing files, you also need to keep in mind that there's a limit to the size of the file which you can sync. In this case, I'm picking this one, which has a size of nine megabytes. I'll click open and I'll add it. And the program is going to let me know that it can only sync files that are under 7.5 megabytes in size. Once we finish syncing our files, we can click close. The program will ask us if we wish to keep this uh, sync configuration. We'll click yes. And that's how we sync files between our tablet and files in our uh, AutoCAD in our computer.